Grant's incredible amounts of power, speed, and endurance will be tested here, as that's what's required to lift four punishingly heavy objects from the ground to platforms 12 meters away. Great matchup here to open things. Trey Mitchell, the American, lives in Lumberton, Texas. First appearance at World's Strongest Man. Luke Stolman of Great Britain resides in Scotland. The 42nd World's Strongest Man final about to begin as we await the whistle of tournament referee and strongman legend Magnus for Magnuson. I like to call these dynamic movement events where it forces the athletes to use some athleticism as lie detectors. This will expose weaknesses, but right now early on, Stoltman doesn't appear to have any. He's on a roll. On to the anvil here. He's got a pretty big lead. He's doing an excellent job in his transitions, moving from one object to the next. Here's the 300-pound sack. Takes him a little while to get it turned, but once he does, he uses those powerful arms, big tree trunk legs, and back strength to get it up onto the platform. Perfect form right now for Luke Stoltman, who is nine years older than Trey Mitchell. And if he can seamlessly take this 300-pound sack to the other end, he will win this early matchup. Look at him breathe there. He is huffing and puffing, but the first to complete. Luke Stolman of Great Britain, and then goes over to help out the American. Trey Mitchell, good effort by both guys. Impressive by Mitchell. He was there the whole time competing, but it was Stoltman and his experience that gets it done. Made it look easy in a time of 47.42. And Mitchell was able to get the four objects in 52.96. From start to finish, Stoltman looked in control, but he was really gassed at the end. But he's got to feel really good about this start. 